gym in about three days. I like to make it a point to go to the gym twice a week, but use the treadmill and do cardio five to six days a week, which I have been on track of that. So, but I did, I do, like if I don't make it to the gym, I'll incorporate uh, weights and the routines that my trainer taught me at home because I have the, the, not accessories, the equipment to do that. So I have been doing that. So I have been working the arms and the abs and the legs and the thighs, you know. And plus like I masturbate every day, so that must count for a workout as well. Okay guys, so, Dior brushes, makeup brushes. They're supposed to be super, super good quality, but like, look at that. It's like peeling and cracking. Like, I literally stuck this in my uh, makeup drawer and I haven't used it for a while. And then that's what happens. Like, these are like so expensive. These are like freaking $50. So I don't understand why it's cracking. None of my MAC brushes have ever done this. Not even Sigma has ever done this. <laughs> so goodbye. Dior. I don't know. I don't really care about designer eyeglasses, to be honest. I just want cute ones with lots of sparkle. Oh my god, this guy's so cute. Oh my god, he was so cute. And we can we we basically eye each other. <laughs> I'm like, <"Nah." laughs> I say shout out to Joshua. Josh, because um, I told him how much. Well, he he found out. He watched my. Oh, he's cute too, and he's in a suit. Oh my god! Hello, hey, daddy. Um, but yeah, Josh watched my snaps and told me that that I'm paying way too much for the glasses, and that I should go to either Lens Crafters or Pearl Vision because they usually have a good deal. He's in the field, so thank you, Josh. E. <sighs> okay, so I went to the Garden City Pearl Vision. They had nothing that suited me. So we're, we're we are going to Polo Park. Ugh. I I don't like crowds. As social as I may be inside, I really don't like crowds. I hate going to concerts. I hate going where to places where people are like touching you and rubbing up against you, unless you're a hot guy. <laughs> but yeah. I think if I was skinnier, I would enjoy it more. But because when you're big, for me, like I don't want to be like hot and sweaty and people touching my body and my, me like, my fat sweat fumes kind of like steaming out and they can smell it, I don't know. <laughs> me no likey. But apparently, I'm gonna go look at some Tiffany ones, like Tiffany frames and Bulgar Bulgari, 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 Bulgari. So, I don't really want to spend that though. Hopefully they have some no-name frames with a lot of bling on it. Because I just like the crystals on the side. I don't care about the name. I've been having a hard time eating. Like, I'll eat well for like the first two days. Or else two days, two meals or three meals out of the day. The fourth meal will be like freaking all fried or junk food. And I've been snacking on those Girl Guide cookies. Which are like 120 calories for two. And I'll eat like six of them at a time. <laughs> So I don't know, but I've been like working out every day, but I don't know, it's the food is so hard. I've been making like my chicken wraps, which is like a whole wheat tortilla shell with soft, with um, roasted chicken and some chipotle and a little bit of mayo and some like spinach, kale, cabbage in it instead of lettuce. They say it's like 85% diet, 15% working out. Uh -huh. And I'm going to return the fat girl clothes I got from the fat girl store because they don't fit. <laughs> I kind of aimed a little high and thought I can squeeze my fat ass into a size X, which is like the lowest size when I'm like a 2X. <laughs> Being a little ambitious, aren't we? I feel like my voice has gotten deeper. I don't know why. Like it just dropped or something. I don't know. Maybe I have something in my throat something I don't want in my throat. Maybe I should just get like no name eyeglasses and just freaking bedazzle it myself. You know, use some freaking heavy duty cement glue and just get like the glitter off of, or the diamonds and the jewels off of, um, whatchamacallit, uh, AliExpress or DHgate or something. TV show I was watching and binge watching last night that was so good. Well, the first one is called The Gifted. 
which is like a kind of like a prequel or a based upon the X-Men series. It's about, um, yeah, so if you like X-Men and superhero kind of stuff, you'll love it. It doesn't have the same tone as the X-Men. It's not as comedic. It's more like dramatic and action, but it's so good. I love it. They already have two episodes and I love it. Did I just mention that I love it? And I watched the first episode of The Good Doctor. Was it The Good Doctor, I think? So good. It's about this guy who has autism and he is younger and he moves to to San Jose, California to be a resident doctor, but he's autistic and I guess it centers around that kind of uh, topic. So good. The first episode was so good. I think they have a few episodes out already, so I'm going to watch that tonight again. But yeah, those are the two shows I'm liking right now. I watched the first episode of Dynasty on the CW. Eh, it was okay, but I mean, I'm no, I'm gonna get sick of it quickly. The only thing that's keeping me around is the whole money, 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 and you know, their designer bags that they show and stuff. But I know I'll get sick of it quickly. Anyway, I want to talk about that again the whole unexpected cost thing. I know everybody deals with it, but it sucks. Like, doesn't it suck? Like, freaking, you get some, you get, you, you get some good coin. Either you, you got some more money on your paycheck, or you sold some shit, and you got some extra cash, and then all the boom. You know, it's like veterinary bills or eyeglasses or dental or healthcare or something happens that you need to spend your money. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> First world problems, right? Why everybody should have a, have a savings. I have a savings, but I'm not touching it because I have the extra money. But I'm not going to dip into my savings, even though my savings isn't even that big. But yeah, it's, kinda, it's just sucky. It's sucky when you get money, but then you have to spend it on something. But to be honest, yeah, my whole my whole Google paycheck and then some is going to go to my glasses. Because if you want to know how much I got paid on YouTube, last month I got paid $650-ish. So, yeah, my glasses, if they're going to cost $1,000, my deductible is $100. I know, I should up that, actually. So, I'm really going to pay, like, $650, $750, $250 out of my own pocket, which is, in retrospect, isn't bad. I just have to work harder on YouTube then. So thank you guys. You guys are the reason why I'm getting glasses and I can afford my glasses. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the for the glasses. Thank you for the sight. You guys see me like burn my Dior brush on Snapchat? If you haven't, I'll insert it here. <laughs> oh, Miss Philly, you're so funny. Isn't Miss Philly funny? <laughs> anyway, guys, we're gonna go into Pearl Vision and see what kind of glasses they have, okay? <laughs> This is where we're going. Pearl Vision. So here's like the collection of some the eyeglasses that we're looking at. I might try these ones on. That's not enough bling for me though. The Burberries are kind of cute too. I don't really know which one to get. Well, since I'm at Marshall's, Marshall's, can you see Marshall's over there? <laughs> I thought I'd just check it out because I'm here. I didn't find any glasses. I'll insert some pics again of what I of what I saw, but I'm still kind of in love with those $830 glasses, but that's way out of my budget. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want to get glasses that I don't like or love, you know, they're going to be on my face all the time. So to be honest we've been like around looking at the bags and i can't find anything cute at all well i guess there's this the first thing i've seen this is a nice big kate spade 229 though kind of expensive for a tote bag this is a cute bag. I've owned an Amy Kestenberg before. It's on sale for $133. The leather though is kind of, I don't know, it seems problematic eventually that it's going to scuff and wear easily, but it's a really cute bag. That's cuteness. So they have these MAC brushes for 40 bucks. It's actually not too bad. Can you get six brushes? Maybe we'll see. Yeah, 
they didn't have any Marc Jacobs stuff. Nothing cute that I can see either. Aside from the brushes. So I'm going to see two branding things. This Clinique Lash Power Feathering Mascara in black. And it's 10 bucks. Or this liquefied metallic lipstick for 8 bucks from Too Faced. Not really something I'm interested in. Guys. Okay, guys. We're at Valley Village. Uh, found nothing at Marshall's. Like absolutely nothing at Marshall's. Hopefully find something here because this is our second last stop. We're going to hit up the Valley Village by my house and see if there's anything there. Rosetti. Liz Claiborne. Why is this $19.99 and it feels like leather? That's why it's Danier. It's cute, but not for that price. How is this? It's kind of interesting. an interesting bag. Oh my god, it's leather too. It's very like unique. And it has like a long strap. Okay, so there's this coach bag. This one is $17.99. And it looks to be in good condition. Oh no. It's ripped. Mm -hmm. That's so unfortunate. Okay guys, so we haven't had much luck thrifting today, which is fine. You're not gonna find something all the time, right? But our last stop is Jefferson Valley Village. We're gonna check if they have anything here. If they do, yay me. Okay, what is this? Found this fake, well, inspired Birkin. Not sure if it's leather, but The inside looks like that. I don't know. It's cute, but not cute enough. <laughs> Bam. Yes. Oh. Here's Lulu, but the corners are kind of toe up, and it's like a material. Hmm. Kind of expensive for the condition. If it was $9.99, I would probably get it, but not for $24.99. A little bit too expensive. Hey guys, it's Miss Philly. It is so beautiful out today. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Hi, it's Miss Philly. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so I'm, I was going to film today, but I just didn't have enough time to, just because of underlying circumstances. So I Instagrammed that I have a new idea for my next video, which will probably be like sometime this week or early next week, depending on when I can film. <sighs> I hate traffic. Yeah, so depending when I can film, I'll, I'll post it. Hopefully by the end of this week. Um, I it's kind of like a I think it's kind of like a good idea. I don't want to ruin it with a spoiler, but we're going back to Polo Park because I kind of liked those Tiffany. Well, <laughs> only until everybody else told me that they liked it. But the, everybody liked the Tiffany uh, glasses that I tried on, so I'm gonna go back and get those and then pick another pair out. I don't know which pair yet, but. I've been wearing a lot of um, this Givenchy play cologne for men. I really like it a lot and I kind of feel like it has a unisex kind of smell to it. And plus guys like to wear it. So like if a guy likes to wear it and he smells it on you, then he'd be like, damn, that bitch smells good. Smells like me. I want to do me kind of thing. Hey loves, we're at Value Village. Um, okay, why are we here? We are here because we are trying to find gifts for people because there's kind of like a, I don't know, a positive and negative on whether or not we should be buying gifts for people at the thrift store. And in my opinion, I think the thrift store is a great place to buy, you know, gifts for people, especially if you're bougie on a budget like myself. Um, definitely a place to, to, to buy things. Um, number one, the first thing I, I kind of look for when it, it's gifts for people from the thrift store is it has to be like brand new with tags. I mean, it's a given, brand new with tags. The second thing is, if it's not brand new with tags, then it has to be um, like in really excellent condition or high end, because I think those two kind of things work. You know, if it's high end and it's in excellent condition, then definitely something um, that you can you can use as a gift at the th from the thrift store. Or, yeah, so we're going to go here and see if we find anything for anybody. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to find things today at the thrift store. Just because it is, it is like Seniors Day today, so it's like 50% off day. And I'm pretty sure everything might have been picked over. This is kind of cute. What is this? Dead, oh. Never heard of the brand before. Well, here's a Danye wallet, but it's 17 bucks. We don't want to spend that much. Here's that coach that's going down. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't really see anything today. That's kind of interesting. So yeah, nothing really in the purse section. But we're going to go look in the gym bag section and of course in the electronics because that's sometimes a good place to look for things. I'll show you if we get anything. See, I actually need one of these because um, I really struggle when it comes to like to where to put my my uh, wrapping paper and stuff. So this is a really good thing. I mean, it's seven dollars, but I know these sell for more expensive at like Walmart and stuff. And it has an area for your. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Like an area for scissors and stuff. So that's really convenient. this seven bucks whatever I don't know if this is worth anything it's a sealed well 
don't know. Like I have media like this and it doesn't really sell for me. I know people like Toronto Hustle from Instagram. I know that he collects a lot of these medias, but the media just doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to sell for me, so I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna pass on that. But we're going to get this. Okay, so the case. <laughs> <laughs> so the case in point that I wanted to make was like things like this. Um, like it's brand new in the package, $12.99, 30% off. I mean, this would make an awesome gift for someone who's an animal lover. It's basically like a Aspen Pet Cool Flow filtered water fountain. Actually, I might pick this up for myself. Not for myself, but maybe to give it as a gift to somebody. I think it's really interesting. Or if it sells for good money on Amazon, I think that we can resell it there. But either way, we're looking for gifts today. I think this would make a really good gift. Okay, so we're going to pass on that Cool Flow Aspen Pet Bowl water bowl thingy just because it looks used and that's definitely something you don't want to give used in my opinion. Like I said earlier, if you're going to give something used, it should be high end um, and in really excellent condition. But that's just me. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. <laughs> Okay guys, so we didn't find any gifts, which was a total fail, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Um, yeah, but I did find that uh, that gift wrapping roll storage. I've been actually kind of wanting one of those ever since my friend had one. I was like, what the hell is that? She's like, it's a place to put your wrapping paper. And I was like, damn, they, they, they thought about everything. <laughs> good storage option for because like i usually just like have mine either rolled under the bed or like on the side of the like leaning against the wall and it's whatever but yeah and it has a place for like scissors and stuff like that so yeah at least we found that and it has i guess it's kind of in conjunction with gift giving so i mean it kind of works out right i don't know if we're gonna go to another uh, value village we'll see but i mean you can't find something all the time that's just how it works that's the life of a thrifter you don't find shit every day <laughs> anyway um i have to go to polo park get my glasses and then i might go to marshall's or winners we'll see a lot of people aren't sure whether or not they want to give gifts that they have thrifted but for me i think it's fine as long as you oh who is that white daddy over there you guys see that you see him? Oh, white daddy. <laughs> um, if you follow two of the cardinal rules, number one, if you're going to give a gift from the thrift store, it should be brand new with tags. Because if it's brand new with tags, it's freaking brand new, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, hello, it's a given. Or number two, if you're going to get someone a gift from the thrift store, it should be in high end in excellent condition. So like designer, but in excellent condition, not like there's no corner wear, no freaking fraying, no pilling, like none of that bullshit. So those are my two rules when giving a gift from the thrift store, okay? Like a Michael Kors bag is fine to give if it's in excellent condition. Like you don't want the you don't want the hardware all scuffed up. You don't want no freaking like rubbing on the corners. You don't want no peeling inside. Like you don't want any like who wants to get a gift like that, you know? I mean unless it's Chanel. If Chanel I'll take it toe up. Bulgari. Bulgari. I don't want to get the Bulgari glasses. Because they're like 500, 600. Like ain't nobody got time to spend that kind of money on glasses, okay? My limit is like 350. 350 and that's already pushing it. <laughs> if I want to go to Unicity Winners because Nancy was there. She said that they have Michael Kors and uh, Kate Spade for okay prices. I can probably flip each for, but I'm just going to be making $30 on, on each of them. So I don't even know. I don't even know. The good thing is I can freaking try and hustle it in 30 days. And if I don't hustle it in 30 days, I can return them bitches and get my money back. So <laughs> that's the good thing about like Marshall's winners, etc., etc. Oh my God, I want some burgers and fries. Ugh. I was watching this YouTube, not YouTube, this Facebook video of, of people like who had chickens as pets and turkeys as pets and that Latino guy over there looks hot as Oh my God, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. <laughs> Um, where were we going with this story? Okay. Um, 
I literally can spot hog guys from like a mile away, like literally. I just need a freaking basic cutout silhouette of what they are and boom, boom, boom. Like it's like in my head, the puzzles all fit together. It's like silhouette and then the face and then the body and then like the shape and everything. Like it just all connects in my head. And with all that, it's like hot guy, hot guy. Like I have hot guy dar, like I'm not even kidding. Like, uh, I'm actually starting to like makeup again. I've been watching a lot of Patrick Starr and Patrick Starr and myself are like exactly the same. Like we're freaking like the same people. Like I'm not even kidding. Like we have the same kind of like humor and mannerisms and we're just basically big Aunt Jemima's from the ghetto. I'm not even kidding. Like that's us. <laughs> And if you don't know, my channel started off as a beauty channel before it even became a thrifting channel. So, ha! I actually used to do tutorials and I actually wasn't that bad, to be honest. Like, no, I wasn't a professional or anything to that magnitude, but I was pretty, I thought I was pretty damn good. But I mean, I have stopped wearing makeup for a long time, so my makeup skills have become a tad rusty. But that's okay. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're just coming from Polo Park. Um, <laughs> has this ever happened to you where, okay, I dropped, I was taking my keys out of my pocket and then I had a loony, like a, a dollar coin in my pocket and it flew out and it landed at the feet of like a bunch of guys sitting like uh, in the chairs, like a bunch of them, like maybe like three or four and they were like all hot and like young. <laughs> And then I was like, I looked back and I pretended that I didn't care or I didn't see it. And they all looked at me and I just kept walking. I was just like too embarrassed to go back, like to go and get it. Like I had to, I mean, I have to go over there, bend down like where their feet are, pick it up. And I can't even pick anything up off the floor because of my nails, like it's difficult for me to pick things up off the floor. So I was just left. So I just left the loony there, <laughs> whatever. They could just get paid for their hotness. Anyway, <laughs> it's kind of awkward. I don't know. But I kind of want that loony back. <laughs> so we just came from Pennington's and um, it's like the big girl store. Um, yeah, so I didn't really, but I found some stuff before, but they were closing and I didn't have time to really get stuff. So I kind of grabbed stuff that I thought would fit, but ended up not fitting. Um, so I exchanged it for underwear because I'm, you know, I like nice underwear or comfy underwear. Not just like freaking Walmart brand underwear. I mean, the Walmart brand, brand underwear probably won't fit me. So I exchanged that stuff, a uh, pair of leggings and shorts for underwear. These re these sell for like $8 a piece, which I think is expensive. I mean, hello, guys can get like a three pack for $12.99. <laughs> but I'm a size 1X in underwear. And I like this style. It's the brief style. I know it's like grandma style, but I, I like it. it. I think it's, I, it's comfortable. Okay. <laughs> and I got it in gray in peach in grandma beige pink with polka dots lavender um gray again and the last black if i could have gotten all black i would have got all black but yeah this came up to 30 dollars for seven pairs which isn't bad like i said they retail for like eight dollars a piece but um yeah that's all i got from there so yeah that's my store basically pennington's it's it's all I shop for for clothes. This is Pennington's. My shirt is Pennington's. My tights are Pennington's. And my underwear that I'm currently wearing is Pennington's as well. So right now I'm a 1X in the tights, 1X in the underwear, 3X in the t-shirts, and then the jackets, I'm a 4X. So yeah, I gained weight. But like about a couple months ago, I was fitting a 3X in a jacket. So, you know, I still have a lot of, a lot of, ways to go when it comes to losing weight um i'm hoping by next year i'll be at least comfortable going out because like right now I, I can't go out without without a cover-up like a jacket on top of a a t-shirt i want to be able to just go out with a t-shirt comfortable and not having to layer things on top just to camouflage what i'm what i have underneath you know and especially like my boobs my boobs like i number one i don't wear a bra so so that's like problematic on its own but the fact of the matter is like my boobs like tech, like they freaking like they fall to the side like literally here and here that's why i angle the camera like this so you don't have you don't see the weirdness the shapeness of my boobs but if you if you watch my working out videos you can see them flopping around everywhere like boom 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 <laughs> so 
once I lose weight, I definitely need like a breast lift or a breast augmentation or something, even though I kind of don't want to do that. Cause I mean, I figure like when I'm 80, I have to get them redone at 80 or what? I'm going to have silicone boobs in my, in my, in my boobs, silicone in my boobs. When, when I'm 80, I'll be like a grandma in a nursing home with like silicone boobs like that. Like who, who even does that? Like who, you know? So that's why I never really ever wanted or it never really appealed to me to have a boob job, but because I'm still kind of young, even though I don't feel young, even though I'm not really young, but I kind of am young, I am young. I should get a, like a boob job next year at least just to lift my breasts. Cause you know, I want to be a skanky hoe for at least a year of my life, okay? I mean, I wasn't, a, I've only been a skanky hoe, like, in my 20s, like, from 22, 23, 24, 25, tw oh, okay, I was a skanky hoe for a while, okay. <laughs> um, my point is, I haven't been a skanky hoe since, like, 2009, so that's, like, like, that's, what, nearly 10 years, but it's, like, 9 years, well, like 8 years, basically, <laughs> I'm bad at math, I know. But who I want to be, I want I want to experience different men. Okay, I want like a buffet of taste testing men. You know, brown men, black men, white men. I want to taste them all. Okay, and have fun. And I don't want my booth flopping around while I'm having fun. And the other surgeries that I want to get is I kind of want to fix my teeth more. I really want it. Like when I got them done. I, he, my doctor didn't really ask me what sizes I wanted so he kind of like just went with what went with my face but I want bigger teeth like you see those youtubers with nice big white teeth that's like that's what I want or like Whitney Houston teeth that's definitely what I want like that kind so I want to get that that's last on my list because my teeth aren't really as like bad right now I want to get that done I want to finish laser hair removal on my face I want my hairline reduction like Jeffree Star um a nose job of course and of course the boob job um But the very, very, very last thing on my list would have to be um, a brow shaving. Because if you see from the side, my brows protrude. That's very like homo erectus cave woman like shit going on. So <laughs> I know I've done my research on brow reduction. They freaking peel off your skin and shave down the brow bone with like freaking some mechanical instrument mechanism. So that's really, really last on my list. Number one would be nose number two would be hairline reduction or hairline reduction or hairline something i don't know what's it called yeah hairline reduction forehead reduction hairline reduction one of those and then yeah so those are the top two on my list right now that's what i want to do and of course skincare 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 because who gives a mother if you freaking have lower hairline and a nice nose if your skin looks like a hot mess and you look like a freaking 70 years old when you're 30. <laughs> so skincare is a must. And that's why I've been investing a lot in skincare. Like the micro-needling, the micro-dermablation. Dermablation. <laughs> blasian guys are hot, mind you. I follow this one guy on Insta on Snapchat and Instagram. He's Blasian. Oh, hottest guy in the world. Like literally. Um, anyway, <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to link his Instagram. But I don't know if he wants me. He would want me to. Anyway, and he's super nice too. Oh, Blasian guys. Oh, go with my man. I want me a Blasian. <laughs> if you don't know what Blasian is, black and Asian. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Okay, I forgot what I was talking about. I know it had to do about surgeries, but what about surgeries? I don't remember. What was I talking about? <laughs> Oh, skincare, yes. So that's why I've been investing in microdermabrasion, microneedling, lasers, laser clear and bright, like all that stuff for my face is an investment because I don't want to look like I'm freaking 90 when I'm in my 30s. Especially when you're in your 40s. Oh, you really, really, really need to take care of your skin. But the thing is, like, I always kind of took care of my skin. Like, even in my... In my late teens, like 18, 19, 20, I started using Clinique. So, I don't know. I think that the microneedling, microdermabrasion, laser has been working. Um, yeah, so. And it's expensive as hell. Expensive as hell. If I didn't have some connections, then I would be paying up the wazoo. So, thank goodness you know who you are. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if she wants me to mention her name. So, but um, 
I'm so thankful to her because she's been hooking her girl up. What's up? That's the belief she goes to get a Christmas present. <laughs> like I've been so unmotivated to work out, but I have been working out, but I have not been enjoying it. And why is this guy going so freaking slow? Like you're going freaking 40 in a 60. Anyway, yeah. I haven't been to the gym in about three days. I like to make it a point to go to the gym twice a week, but use the treadmill and do cardio five to six days a week, which I have been on track of that. So, but I did, I do, like if I don't make it to the gym, I'll incorporate uh, weights and the routines that my trainer taught me at home because I have the, the, not accessories, the equipment to do that. So I have been doing that. So I have been working the arms and the abs and the legs and the thighs, you know. And plus, like, I masturbate every day. So that must count for a workout as well. Okay, there's a bag that Nancy said was here. This bag. I don't know. Should we get it? kind of cute. It's a nice tote. This one does not have a dust bag, so you're going back. Ooh, they have a Mike Jacobs one. This is kind of cute. How much is it? It's $2.99. Oh my god. This one has a dust bag in it. I don't know. I think that we can resell it online. I think. Okay, they also have clearance, which is like the Kate Spade. Where are you, Kate Spade? Bitch, where are you before I cut you? Oh, there she is. Right here. Oh, there's like so much. Oh wait, is that scratching or is that? Oh, it's just veining in the leather. It's still kind of cute though. I don't know. I don't know. What's this? London fog. I like this bag, like the fringe on it. I think that's so chic. It's really cute. Okay, so this is the Kate Spade. Oh, it's not even like a... Mm, it's not even like a zip top closure. It's like a... Yeah. No, we're going to pass on this, I think. But I think this MK bag is kind of cute. Should we buy both of them? Because someone might see me. Someone might see it here. It's kind of cute. Okay, so they have this. Okay, maybe I might get this now then. This, um, there's like a travel, I guess like a travel bag for a long shop. It's $120. It's kind of cute, right? For traveling. Cuteness. I don't even know if I would use this for traveling. I mean, I wish the handle was a little bit longer, but I understand that it's also handheld. Okay, so here's like the other MK bag. This is cute, what is this? Calvin Klein. This one has no, no dust bag. I have a dust bag at home though. 
Oh, this backpack is super cute. Oh, it has this little poof poof. What brand is this? I don't know. This Marc Jacob is really cute, but I ain't paying no freaking 300 for it. It's a cute bag though. Longshot 119 plus tax for travel. I don't know. Yeah, maybe no. Maybe we'll pass on this long shot. Kind of. It's not extra enough. If the handles were a little bit longer, I probably would have considered it, but it's not. But this MK is cute. It's a cute tote. I'm gonna examine it, make sure that everything is intact. <sighs> okay guys, so we're just coming from Winners, sorry about the quality, it's a little bit dark, but um, it's dark, it's evening. So, um, okay, so I bought the Michael Kors bag. It was kind of a little bit annoying. Like when I was checking out, like the lady was all friendly and stuff, but then I told her, I'm like, like she took out the Michael Kors stuffing out of the bag and then she's, and I'm like, can you please leave it there because it's the Michael Kors stuffing, it goes with the bag. It makes, it fluffs up the bag, it stuffs it. She's like, oh, our policy is to take it out. And I'm like, well, I do want to keep it because it is a present. You know, I use the whole present, you know, little white lie. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she's kind of like being rough with the bag. And then she, she was like, what did she say? She said, is there anything else you want me to do before I zip up the bag? And I'm like, whoa, damn fighting words. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I hope she didn't like wreck it or scratch it. I mean, like, respect the bag i mean it is it's just michael kors but respect the bag it's still a nice leather bag it's still expensive respect it okay clearly she's not a handbag lover like us anyway okay so i got this bag i plan on reselling it um they had another one there but it didn't have the dust bag in it so and she kind of like crumpled the the thing where's Okay, so this was two twenty five dollars after taxes, which is kind of expensive, yes, I'll pay, but I mean, it's not a factory outlet bag, and I mean, it's cute, you know, it's a nice tote, but, and it's like Safiano, Le Safiano leather, and actually on the website on michaelcores.com, they still sell this model, and I believe it's listed at two ninety eight dollars plus tax, so I mean, you're going to pay over $300 for it. And actually, it's a nice kind of tote. Yeah, I think I'm going to either... I'm going to list it and sell it. But if I don't get the money that I want for it, like at least 250 then I might keep it for myself because I think it's kind of actually kind of really um, chic. <laughs> and I've kind of always wanted, even though I've owned one before and sold it, I kinda, I always kind of wanted a Michael Kors Jet Set Tote type of bag with a zip-top closure because a lot of the, the, the ones I've, I've thrifted either had no zip top or were the smaller version this is like the big version so and i like that it's soft yeah, I don't and it's nice that it has a michael kors logo there and the medallion is there scratching on the medallion a little bit well no not really no that's just smudging yeah there's no scratching on it it's just smudging i mean a small 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 hairline scr scratches but nothing nothing major Okay, so I'm glad I got that. I mean, this should sell well for Christmas. I mean, I bought it a little bit early, though, because I have 30 days to re return it. So if I don't want it, I can return it within 30 days, as long as the tags are still attached. So I don't know. Anyway, I also bought this. It's called, it's a salt crystal lamp. It's regularly 30. It's priced at 24. Regular price is 40. So, I mean, what I like about this is that the crystals are individual. Like, they're individual crystals. It's not like one uh, big chunk of crystal. It's, it's individual ones. Like, hold on, let me open it. And they're all chipped from the Himalayans. See, and they're removable, so you can, like, position them really, really. I think it's kind of cool. But this is, a, this is a salt crystal lamp. It's supposed to... Um, Mined and chipped by hand in the Himalayan mountains, each crystal totally unique. 
This lamp is scientifically proven to act like an air purifier. When lit, it emits negative ions that fight against positively charged particles that cause us to feel stuffy and sluggish. So I think this will make a really, I mean, I, 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 I Amazon did, Amazon seller app. I scanned it through that and it says that it retails for 80 there and there's only one. So that's Amazon Canada. So I might list this on Amazon. Um, you have to be careful when you're scanning things because sometimes you can be restricted on things like that. Those Nike pants, um, I can't sell them on, on Amazon because I'm restricted from selling it from there. There's certain categories where people are restricted from selling and you have to get pre-approval from Amazon itself. But this, I scanned it through and it went fine. Like I can sell it. So even if I list this for, I don't know, the high, the, it says it's $88 for, for the one in, on Amazon. So if I list this, like undercut them, do it 80 and then shipping this will probably be like $25. So if I'm in it for $25 and then shipping is $25, that's $50 plus Amazon fees of like maybe 10, that's 60. And if I got paid 80, so basically I'm only making 20. So maybe like I'll, maybe I'll just sell it locally. It might make more sense that way. Cause even if I get 50 local, I'll still make $25 and I don't have to deal with shipping and packing and going to the post office. So I might just sell this locally. Yeah. But the thing about salt lamps though, they're so readily available where I live and you can get them for super, super cheap. Like at uh, like liquidation places. So that's another thing. Or I might just keep it for myself <laughs> because I mean, I'm all about the whole holistic, natural shit. So might keep it for myself. Might even gift it. Who knows? And yeah, um, I have so many videos to get on top of. I'm trying to revamp this channel a little bit to make it more kind of not just thrifting, but I mean, thrifting related topics too, like the topics I told you earlier, but more kind of film. Like I might, I'm, I might find a video, video, rog, video, rog, rog, for videographer <laughs> and have them film me instead of me filming me because I think it it might take it's it's hard to film me it's hard to execute my plan on videos when I have to deal with filming too and I can't just like it's hard for me to hold the camera like this when I'm out I'm trying to like you know do my shtick and it, it's, it's just hard but I'm thinking Tim maybe I'll hire Tim because I know Tim is <laughs> He was in like a, my like two three vlogs back. Um, I know he does a lot of good video. Or maybe Jamie. Jamie is a really good videographer, picture taker too. So she, if she's a good picture taker, she must be a really good videographer. <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll ask them and I'll hire them and pay them for their time. Maybe we'll see. If you guys, you, what do you guys think? Jamie, Tim, help a girl out. Make me a YouTube star, please. <laughs> anyway, guys, bye. Oh my god, there's this like super, super hot guy beside me and I can't point the camera toward him because he's kind of looking this way. <laughs> um, he might try to lure me into his van and I might just have to go in. <laughs> just, anyway, I just wanted to say that. Super hot guy. Yeah. A big old muscular chocolate brown skin. Yeah. You know, you know them chocolate brothers like them big girls. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, bonus video. Okay, I'm in my garage, my creepy garage, and I just want to tell you what I got from Dollarama. Okay, so I really like the the Shiseido cotton pads, but since you know they ten bucks and this is only a buck, <laughs> I got the cotton pads from Dollar Store, Dollarama. It's uh, $1.25 for 50 so I mean, I need it for my toner. I got these really cute poof poof balls. Like, who needs a Fendi monster when you got these? And they were $2 each. I think I might include them in my bags that I sell just because it's a little bit something of pop pop extra, you know, like a little bag charm. And for a $2 investment, probably, you know, we'll, we'll sell the bag even more. I got the um, ibuprofen, which is like an Advil. And the real Advil, because when this runs out, I like to fill it with a no name, because it's the same shit. Ibuprofen is still ibuprofen, regardless of whatever. They're the. <gasps> I heard something. Ibuprofen is ibuprofen. So, you know, buy like the brand name packaging. And then I got these caplets. I don't know why I got them. I just got them, because I'm on a health kick. Um, Omega 3s and vitamin C. Vitamin C, because I always, not always, but I tend to get sick once or twice like really major a year I already I was already really majorly sick in February 
so that actually helped when when me and that guy stopped talking broke up whatever you want to call it um it also uh, co coincided with the fact that i got the flu like a really really bad like major flu so that actually helped with the heartache the fact that i was like on my deathbed <laughs> couldn't breathe couldn't freaking like things running out fever muscle aches pains couldn't get out of bed it helped a lot mind you and oh i needed these batteries because my scale um was not like I, I replaced the battery but it wasn't working so it's a scale that i use to weigh my packages when i when i ship them out so i need to get those batteries so yeah that's all i got from dollarama everything was like 20 bucks <laughs> dollar store ain't that cheap no more anyway guys thank you <laughs> thank you again for this extra extra bonus scene um i'm going to the go now and i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> love you so extra extra clean i'm having like a nourishable which is like all kale cabbage carrots oh my goodness all um that smells good all uh veggies and then i'm eating some salmon a little bit of a dill pickle sauce and i'm watching Anne eckhart previously known as see and save she's probably my favorite youtuber she just really kind of lip balm she's just I don't know how to explain her. She's just kind of like a down-home girl from the Midwest. You're just your normal, everyday girl who resells. And that's kind of what I'm drawn to, I guess. Like, I just like watching her for some reason. <laughs> like, I like watching her when I eat. Anyway, if you're not subscribed to her, um, I'll leave her link on the down bar. She's awesome. And her, her pugs and, her, you know, pop-up. This retails for 375 I just like her. If you get this box, let me know if you got the Nestle Crunch personality. Too. I'm assuming just for some reason. Did because I would assume they would make cards the same. You know, sometimes they, yeah, and some Eckhart. boxes, you know, they'll switch out a flavor. But I would think everybody on YouTube. Them. Then this is pink.